What's good, Josh? Your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So, I had to make a video on this because this is the topic of of the night. It's probably going to be the topic for the rest of the week. Uh, I just finished live streaming AEW Dynamite, and I was so glad I was able to watch this live on chat. MJF's pipe bomb. That's pretty much what this whole segment was. It was a pipe bomb. And it's so fitting that it's kind of similar to CM Punk's pipe bomb many years ago. He was pretty much disgruntled. He was not happy with his position in the company. His contract was about to end in WWE. And Vince McMahon gave him the okay to go out there and say how he feels. And that's exactly what happened here. Now, granted, supposedly MJF's contract is not supposed to end until next year. But we all know he's been having some issues with uh, Tony Khan and management. And the, of the reports or you know apparently seeming to be true that he he did a no show at a meet and greet right before double or nothing this past weekend uh and it seemed like he wasn't even gonna show up for the show and when they booked the show he pretty much got squashed to wardlow so the fact that he came out there and i'm guessing tony khan just said go ahead go ahead go ahead say how you feel say whatever's on your mind that's exactly what he did and when i say I had goosebumps after it only because I like when wrestling blurs the lines of what's real and what's scripted. This definitely has a lot of shoot elements to it, but they're working it. They're working it within a, uh, a storyline potentially, but I do believe there's more shoot elements than a work here because I do believe everything he's saying that's how he truly feels. That's that I don't think that's acting. That's how he feels about Tony Khan. That's how he feels about the company. That's how he feels in general. They're just working it potentially in the storyline. And apparently somebody had sent me some footage after the whole segment when they cut out uh, MJF's mic. CM Punk came down to the ring. He was trying to talk to him or whatever. And then MJF just walked through the crowd. So I don't know what they're setting up here. But I will say this. CM Punk has, I'm not CM Punk, MJF has been the most interesting thing going on before Double or Nothing with, with how he's been feeling, and especially after Double or Nothing. And he's been one of the most interesting things on AEW te television. So I get what he's saying. He does deserve to get paid. He is their top heel. He is one of their top guys. Every segment, every program MJF has been in has been gold. Literally golden. That's the one thing I can say. Anytime MJF gets a microphone in his hand, I stop what I'm doing and I listen. And he's a piece of, he's a piece of you know what, but he's good at being that piece of S, piece of you know what. He's good being a trash talking asshole, but he knows how to get your attention. You want to hate him. People will pay money to see him get his ass beat. And that's fantastic that there are great heels in wrestling, but there's some that are just leagues above everybody else to the point where I will pay top dollar to see him get his ass kicked. And he was fantastic. He's been fantastic. Ever since I first seen him, I was like, bro, this dude, he's a future world champion. Hell, a lot of people are hoping he would be a world champion this year. Don't know if that's going to happen, but I will say this. If you have a chance, I wish I could do a, a live reaction well, reaction to it on YouTube, but you already know uh, that's not going to happen. It'll probably end up getting blocked. But you can see my reaction of it on my live stream. Uh, the video should be up, so you can check that out. But honestly, this was fantastic. This, this is a promo segment that I will remember for a very long time. I remember the CM Punk promo. This is one of those promos. Hell, I'll remember the MJF CM Punk b promo battle. I'll remember that. And now another segment with MJF. I'm going to remember this promo segment. I'm going to remember him going off. I'm going to remember the fact that he called Tony Khan a effing mark. <laughs> like, this was, this was great. And he brings up some points. 
Tony Khan does not have a problem paying ex WWE talent high dollar. And he's like, yo, what about me? I'm one of your biggest draws. I'm one of your biggest people in this company. And you don't even like what's going on here. Understandably so. Understandably so. And a lot of people are debating, is this a work? Is this a shoot? I don't care what it is. It's it's both of them for sure. It's a it's a work shoot, but I think it's more on the shooting side of things. And I'm okay. I don't care. This is entertaining. This is what I want to see. This is what I want to see in in wrestlers being able to blur the lines of what's real, what's not. It, is this how he really feels? Is this scripted? That is what I want to see. That CM Punk promo, that pipe bomb, that infamous pipe bomb, that's what brought me back to wrestling. If anybody knows me, that's what brought me back to wrestling. I saw that on YouTube. I was like, what is this? It was blowing up. Saw it on YouTube. And I was like, oh, I got to see what's going on with this. What's happening? That seemed real. And the same thing here. The crowd was chanting STFU. Shut the hell up, MJF, when he started. And at the end, he had the crowd, even though he was kind of trashing the crowd too, he had them eating out the palm of his hand. Because what he's saying, I can't argue. He deserves to get paid. Whether, you know, now walking out potentially, that was kind of unprofessional. But once again, we don't know all the story. We don't know what's really going on behind the scenes. How bad has it gotten? So I can only give the surface level spec, uh, surface level speculation. But I will say this. If Tony Khan does not end up restructuring his contract and paying him some top dollar, or if he does let them go, let him go, WWE will pick him up. WWE will throw some good money at him. But I don't know if he will be the same in WWE. But once again, look what they're doing with Cody. They're treating Cody. They're giving him the Roman Reigns treatment damn near. Who's to say they don't do the same for MJF? I can see them doing that. So I don't know. I, I don't know. But Tony Khan, they need to figure out something. They need to sit down and they need to figure out something. Because he is a gym in AEW. I don't care what nobody says, whether you like him or not. He is the best heel in that company. He's better than Adam Cole as a heel. He's better than everybody else in that company as a heel. He knows he knows how to get under your skin. He's one of, the, if not the best talker in that company. And he has the psychology down when it comes to wrestling of being just a piece of crap heel. I don't know. WWE could definitely use a mega time heel like that. They could. I don't know if it works the same because it's PG compared to PG-14. But I'm sure MJF could find a way to make you hate him still. All I will say is, if you have not seen it, go check out MJF's Pipe Bomb promo. You will not regret it. It's easily one of the best promos of all time. It's up there. And it will probably be forever remembered in AEW. It will. It, fantastic. Fantastic. Enjoyed it. So, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think is going to happen. Do you guys think Tony Khan will pay him? Do you guys think... Tony Khan will let him go, let him, let him leave out his contract early. Do you think he will jump ship to WWE, man? Let me know. Comment down below. Let's get into get into the discussion. Do you guys think this is one of the best promos of all time? I have to say it is. I'm sorry. I have to, I'm I'm not going with the hype here. This shit was fantastic. That entire segment, I literally had goosebumps because I'm like, bro, he's going off right now. He doesn't give a damn, and I love it. I love it. It was fantastic. We need more promos and segments where it blurs the line of reality. Eddie Kingston is another good promo guy in AEW. He's fantastic on the microphone. Love it. So, comment down below. Let me know. But I appreciate all love and support. Road to 90K. Appreciate y'all keeping me. See y'all next one. Peace.